This one is not currently filled. However, the items that I have, or the enemies that I have left to fill in here can only be gotten in the bonus dungeon Aura told us about. Total gift amount? I generally try to keep people in pretty good standings equipment-wise, so this number gets maxed out pretty darn quick. Oh, 85 got statue treasures opened. That's actually all of them. The number will turn red if I get one more, and it will just say no more can be gotten in this volume. But 85 is actually the max. Encounters with Mansur, Grandpa, and the number of symbols I've activated. Now these guys I have talked about in the past. I'm not going to go into detail with them here. And finally, Grunties. You get one for having raised one of every Grunty, and you get one for having gotten an, an, a certain amount of Grunty food. I don't think you get one for getting one of every food, though. That'd be nice. That's it for here, though. Now, the reason I wanted to log out... ...is to show you guys all the nifty stuff we got. Go down to audio, and you can play all the nifty background sounds. Back to that one for good measure. Now, generally, the order of unlocking thing go things goes... You get one of everything kind relatively simultaneously, so you get music, a movie, and a background image kind of all simultaneously. But the background image and the music will run out first. To the point I am now, I have all the musics and I have all of the background images. The only things I don't have are all the movies which we've already seen all of them, seeing as we have beaten the game. So we're not missing out on anything there. We've gotten a number of nifty images here as well. Now, I don't even remotely remember which ones I've gotten in... Good old Natsume. Maybe I shouldn't have cancelled out. Now I don't know where I am. Let's just start at the bottom and work our way up. That'll make things simpler. Granted, with the big thing in the center, I know some of these are hard to see. Now, a lot of these here are bonus ones. These are the grunty ones. The bonus ones you get for uh, beating the game, you unlock a lot of them. Um, various other events. You get the grunty ones here. Well, not... Maybe that one. Maybe not that one. Okay, I think I got those for beating the previous game. Okay, these are the grunty ones. These you get for uh, beating all the grunty races. Grunty 4 here you get for beating the uh, grunty races in the fourth game. And then these are the ones you actually unlock in quarantine. Yeah, I think that's all of them. 
Let's leave it on that one just cause. Cause Natsume's adorable, that's cause. Now with all of that out of the way, the only thing we have left to do is head to Hidden Darkside Holy Ground, the bonus dungeon for the fourth game. This is the final dungeon of the entire game. It is a massive 15 floor dungeon with a boss fight at the end filled to the brim with data bugs. Normally, I would crop out or speed through or do something, but as a last huzzah for this Let's Play, I'm going through this entire dungeon without cropping a darned thing out. I am, however, doing it next time, not this time. What I want to say now is that I am going to let all of you decide who is in my party for this final dungeon. Now, we absolutely have to have Elk. Elk asked us himself to come. So I have one other member. Mia, we understandably can't have, considering she's... kinda dead. Though we have heard a rumor of a cat-like character. We have Orca, a heavy class. Marlo, also heavy. Sanjiro, heavy. Nuke Osagimaru is uh, midweight. Balmung is heavy. Moonstone is midweight. Pyros is heavy. Wise Man is a wave master, so this means I would have two wave masters. Elk we need. Natsume is a midweight. Rachel is a heavyweight. Gardini is midweight. Terajima Ryoko is heavy. Black Rose is heavy. Mistral is lightweight. Helba is technically lightweight, and I'm not entirely sure if it would be cheating or not to bring her along. As many data bugs as there are, I don't think having her would be any real advantage. In fact, it may be harder because she's a wave master, and I don't have more melee beating on the thing. Tsukasa, also a wave master. Subaru, a heavy class. And Sora, midweight. All of you can decide from that massive list who I am going to use. Let the votes be opened. I'm going to humbly suggest a heavyweight, though. I like not tanking. But regardless, you guys want to stick me with two wave masters, that's what I'm going in with. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>